Well, we have water, some dirt, a bit of big sky country, and even a spicy rub. If these flavors don't excite you, then you've got the wrong outdoor show because it's time for At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rio Rossi. Today's show has a bit of everything as we try our hand at urban kayaking with a bit of hiking and ATVing thrown in. Then, Steve Human shows us that summer isn't over and there are still off-road events to enjoy. It's time to own the outdoors with At Your Leisure right now. Today's At Your Leisure is kind of like current affairs. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? It is. I can't believe I'm actually on the Jordan River with the most beautiful, beautiful scenery. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. You know, I've always wanted to spend time on the river. I've gone a little bit downtown when it's so quiet and still. But this is, this is like real wild and, well, I don't want to call it a wild and scenic river because it's not, but it's kind of is. And so uh, uh, just enjoying the beautiful growth and everything. It's so peaceful, even though, you know, the freeways are around. It's weird that right in the middle of a big metropolitan area, you can find something like this. It really is. The vegetation is absolutely beautiful, and it's so clean. That's what I've noticed. It's very clean. It's wow, and we have a whole bunch of people with us. We are here with people on the cutting edge of developing the river. We've got the, uh, one of the best experts as far as the knowledge of the tributaries in the water, and we'll be talking to him today. That's Adrian Bogart. And we also have Laura Hansen, who's off to our flank here. Laura, wave to everybody. And Laura is um, working with the different communities to try and get a coordinated plan for recreational development of the river. So we're going to take a nice leisurely trip through this beautiful current. So we're going to be showing you more of the river as we make our way downstream. But first, it's time for us to go to this week's travel adventure. Now, Stephen Human has got something for you that, well, I think that you'll see it's a great way to be coming to the end of season. Stephen, what do you think? Thank you. We are standing here with Adrian Bogart. He is the official Jordan River River Rat. I've got a question for you. If I started from Utah Lake and I jumped in a kayak, could I go all the way down to Salt Lake without getting out of my kayak? No, you can because there are several uh, obstacles such as diversion dams for canals, different bridges that are too low. You've got things uh, like Winchester here that has a really strong hydraulic and a lot of debris that gets jammed under the bridge. If you really want to get to know a river like this, you should get on it with people like, say, the Wasatch Mountain Club that does a Wednesday night float. Um, I'm one of their members. We get out and we scout it before we do it. Uh, we know when the flow's too high to do a certain section. You got to know all the ins and outs and safety hazards and if you don't know don't go and it's best to learn at the low flow. Right now we're at a, an abnormal high for this time of the year. This thing's usually just flowing low like a pussy cat. You know, I'm just I'm just not used to seeing class 5 rapids on the Jordan River. I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, it well, does. We got some major white caps out there. They're they're sporadic, but they're here and they are deadly. They've proven to be, but uh, you know, there's a lot of really safe lackadaisic sections in between. When you get up into 21st South, there's a split and you don't want to take the left and go out the surplus canal. If you take the city channel up in Salt Lake, They've only got one small diversion structure by North Temple, but the rest of it's pretty much a flat water canal. Center Street in North Salt Lake, it's real easy. It's a, it's a piece of cake year round, just nice slow flat water and you can get used to a boat. That sounds great. Listen, thanks for all the information. We will be back with more of At Your Leisure in just a minute. We are about ready to put in the water and head down the Jordan River, something I've always wanted to do. Me too, I can't wait. When we come back, it'll be time for our product review. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You might notice that we had a couple different boats here. And you might be wondering, where do we get these? Well, you can find them at the University of Utah. They rent kayaks, boats, tents, camping gear, rubber rafts, you name it. You don't have to be a student or faculty. Anybody can rent them. They're wonderful, and they're very, very well priced. All right, now we're going to go to our product review, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the Jordan River Parkway today, of course, with Rhea Rossi and with Laura Hansen, 
Laura, this is just fantastic. Thank you so much for being our guide today and showing us around. It's just been a wonderful, just a wonderful time on the river. So besides kayaking, which we just got out of our kayaks, what You're else? You're all wet, by the yes, way, Yes, can you tell? Okay, yes. Uh, what else can you do around this area that's be besides, you know, being on the river? Can you do something? Oh, absolutely. In fact, if you're a horseback rider, there's an equestrian trail that parallels much of the Jordan River. We've got Taylorsville on this side of the river, Murray on this side. There's a dog park, an urban fishery. We're standing on a pedestrian bridge here that connects the Jordan River Parkway Trail that in, when it's all complete, will run from Utah Lake all the way to the Great Salt Lake, connect to the Legacy Nature Preserve. It's this great regional trail system. You can boat, you can ride your bike. I mean, it is just, it's a spectacular little resource for yeah, our region. You, you noticed I was goofing off going like this and like this because as she was saying each one of them, I was actually looking at them because they're all that close. The dog park's there. The fisheries there, the horse trails there, the happy hikers on the bridge whom we're blocking is right here. Come on, folks, come on by. This is this is really great, but but this takes a lot of coordination, doesn't it, Laura? It, it does. Yeah, it's you know, folks have been had so much foresight and been working together towards creating as much of the parkway that they as we have for probably 20 something years, but there's a lot more to do though. Okay, right now we're going to go to Reese Stein for our trailhead adventure. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles and you'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com website and you can take a look at it there. Well, you know what? We are going to make our way down here a little bit on the river, but one thing I have noticed is that there are lots of wild animals here. Adrian was telling us that there are uh, deer that really surprises me. I think so too. You would never expect to see deer on a body of water like this, but they are, they're on the bank. Well, they're hard to see though, because, because Adrian says that they are very stealthy deer. Oh yes. So we will have to look very hard to find them. If I was a deer, I'd want to live here. Yeah, because you know, you, you, one, you wouldn't have to worry about being hunted very much. And number two, you have all the conveniences of home. Oh, I'm going sideways. Stay with us, we'll be back with more of At Your Leisure here on the Jordan River. I have to save Chad. How come it fit when we got here and it grew in the water or something? I don't get it. It did. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Go to our website, ayltv.com, and you can find out how you can come here and enjoy this. It's time for us to go, as is always, between now and the next time we get together, make sure that you get out with your family and friends and enjoy the great outdoors at, at your, your leisure. leisure. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to fit. As if. The winter, we're already here. Autumn. Autumn's a good word. I register now. Well, this just goes to... Three, two.